Now remember, these guys are fairly dangerous. No worky worky. It just doesn't end. Almost made a mistake. Hello guys, welcome back to the lab. It's Izzo Crunchyroll with you today. And I have another cool video. So, uh, from taking a look at the last video I made, it was quite successful. And I thought, in, instead of... Uh, giving you an overlook on some of the items that I have. I'm going to show you all of the things I featured in the video and I thought that would be a really good idea because uh, A, I actually had never tested none of those items before myself and B, uh, I would have to do it anyway so might as well make a video. So today we will be taking a look at this guy power analyzer that I bought on eBay quite a clever unit so we're gonna take it apart to see what makes it work why it works why it doesn't work and we're gonna hook it up and see what it shows and how it works so yeah let's get it started so, uh, there's a couple of things we will need to do uh, before we actually hook this thing up. So first, uh, we need to open it and see what it has inside. So, uh, gladly, it's not that hard. <laughs> so, yeah. So, what we see right here, we have some sort of daughter board on top connected with... Uh, couple uh, pins here here and uh, there and uh, all it is is this is a capacitive uh, resistive uh, transformer less power supply so that uh, drops it down under 10 volts as indicated by this cap and uh, then it makes the whole thing work all of the chips are actually uh, grinded down so you can see the number they do that on most of uh, units like this that someone actually manufactures and sells because uh, what happens in China is they uh, start copying each other and, and then nobody knows where it came from. So yeah, uh, it looks to be a legit company, some sort of manufacturing, uh, yeah, so pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's nothing really to it. It's just a uh, small uh, brain box that reads voltage and current and Then it just simply gives you the value. So nothing really to see inside So we're going to close that and we will keep going So to make this whole thing even uh, work uh, we will have to take this extension cord that I made and we'll have to modify it a little bit uh, to make sure we, uh, we can hook up some wires to it whatnot so um, yeah so I'm just going to remove these uh, screws here oh almost made a mistake there we go CT goes there Jesus tabs on the plug they keep falling down oh man no worky worky oh yeah and I actually forgot to put in the wires as well it just doesn't end all right, so this is what we have. Uh, well, we should actually put this tab back in, but this is what we have. So we have uh, our CT on uh, the hot conductor, and then we have, uh, oh, what is the other piece? So we have a CT on our hot conductor, then uh, we have uh, two wires hot and neutral, uh, coming out for the unit from the plug and uh, Yeah, that makes it all 
work. So, we're almost ready to turn this thing on and we can hook up whatever loads to this and it should show us the power. So, we pretty much made a power analyzer extension cord, if that even makes any sense. Uh, does it say hot and neutral? Nope. It doesn't say which one is hot and which one is neutral. So, apparently we just hooked this up. Now, remember, uh, these guys are fairly dangerous because they're... They probably don't meet any of the specs on any manufacturing start standards. So you do buy this at your own risk. And, uh, you know, al although it could be pretty fun, but uh, just remember that these are pretty freaking dangerous. So just make sure you know what you're doing before you hook one up. All right, so as you can see, we got the unit hooked up, so it's actually showing its own current draw because we have the CT on here. So as you can see, 0 0.06 watts, 122 volts, 0 0.04 amps. So pretty cool. Now this button lets you switch from kilowatt hours to watts to power factor. So as you can see, it's a capacitive, uh, resistive uh, voltage divider uh, power supply in there. So pretty bad power factor. And let's go back to watts. So now what I'm going to do is I have this end of the plug and I have the soldering iron here. So let's actually uh, hook that up. Now, what you should see is that the soldering iron should have a pretty good uh, power factor because it's a resistive element so we're gonna go here and yep power factor of one so i pulled out my oscilloscope here and i'm going to turn it on so i, I always wonder how much power it would be pulling so let's see so I'm going to push the button, okay, it's pulling 30 watts, let's wait for it to turn on, there we go. So as you can see, the oscilloscope is pulling 30 watts and it should have a transformer inside, so it's not going to have a great power factor, but it should be pretty good. Yeah, 0.84. So, yeah, I mean, there's nothing you really to say. This thing just works, and uh, it's pretty cool. I like how it performs. I like the colors. They're not washed out, so it's pretty good. And it's easy to use. Yeah. So, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, don't forget to leave a like, and perhaps subscribe to my channel. Check out some of my other videos. Chances are you might find something... Uh, that will interest you. So, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.